Hey Divas, okay, so today I wanted to share my part of the swap. I just posted the video for Melanie's, um, when I op my package, me opening her package, her swap package, and I'm going to show you mine. If you didn't see that video, um, hers came in today, oops, sorry, and, um, she, we, we decided to do coin, no, I'm sorry, uh, coffee sleeve mini albums. Um, we each chose a theme. She to chose Shabby Chic. And I did my best. I've mentioned before, I do not do that well. Um, but I tried and I hope I hope she likes it. Um, the pattern I used, I mean the collection I used was the Prima Almanac collection. And I have a considerably lot, le a lot left. I have a, I have a lot left. Um, I, I thought I'd use more, but I didn't. Um, and I used a lot of my scraps. And that is the Prima Almanac. I don't know if I said that. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. Sh I made a. We we decided to make a card. And I'm sorry. I'm so excited about this, you guys. It was my first coin. Uh, not coin. Uh, coffee sleeve mini album to make, and it was so much fun. Um, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you them together, and I'm going to go into detail about each of them. Let's set this like that. Okay, so the card I'm gonna that aside, is uh, made with some black cardstock, and I haven't added the cream card. I haven't added the cream cardstock in just yet. I wanted to have a chance uh, to write something, but I didn't want to do it on video. I didn't want to show. So I have some pearl accents, bling, a black butterfly from Prima, and a pink. Uh, flower from the dollar bin. And let me check the sliding because I do not know how it's going. And from my angle, I can't really... Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> sorry, I forgot about those things. Um, okay, so sorry if you hear shopping bags moving because my dog is... Well, my sister's dog's in my room and she's just kind of, you know, all over the place. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And I have to add my name. So there's the card. Let me set that aside. Okay, so the um, mini album is using Laura Dennison's Following the Paper Trails Stack the Deck Binding System in her um, chipboard covers uh, technique. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so this part right here, we have some black bling ribbon and some pink bling ribbon. And those are from the paper studio. If you saw my latest haul, um, I don't know if I did a, I'm pretty sure I did a haul. Yeah, I did. Um, there's, th there they are. And I really wish they were adhesive, but they are not. But they're still really cool, and it just takes a little more glue than it would <laughs> for a regular ribbon. And they leave an awesome texture on your, on your project. Okay. Then, these two butterflies, which you can see right there, they are both from Recollections, and they both, they came from this pack, the tans, creams, the whites, and blacks, and they're the 24 pack. I'm pretty sure they're all that way, but whatever. Um, and then this flower right here is from the Dollar Bin at Michael's, and it is, came in a pack of two, and it was black and the, the white one, and I just used the white one on this, because I thought it looked really good, and the tan bringing it all in, I thought it... The black looks a little too dark with all the other black, so. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um, the side, I have some elastic. And it's just some cream elastic that I work really well with it. It's, it's, I don't know if it's elastic, but it feels, it's really stretchy and it's, it's ribbon. I got it in a ribbon pack. And on the back, I need to add my name, but then I have some more trims to tie it all together. L ribbon. Okay, I'm going to show you how thick it is first, because I'm so glad I used the Sack the Deck binding, because it got really chunky. I mean, extremely thick. And it's my first attempt to do the Sack the Deck binding, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I just used some black cardstock on the back, and I don't know why I said that, because you can always see it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to open it up, and we're going to start on the side here. This is the cover, and I left a lot of pages blank, or a lot of spaces. Like here, I left it vacant so you could put a picture, a rather large picture. Um, you could cut down a wallet size photo and fit it easily. Um, over here, I have a Recollections butterfly, and then some Recollections bling. The bling that I, I used 
was this, and I used this throughout the entire project, no other, and it looks like that. And I was able to get a lot use a lot of use out of this, and I still can use it on many projects. Uh, I use that on the card too, and there's it looks like it's coming the trail of the bee, but the butterfly buzzing. Over here, I have a piece from the paper collection, uh, a butterfly, and a little gemstone from Hobby Lobby, the paper studio, and it looks like this. I, I opened it brand new for this project, and they were so much fun to work with. I'm definitely going to be investing in more. They were so much fun, and uh, space fillers are amazing. Um, okay, and then the page keeps flipping over. Uh, so there's that. The next page, I left this part blank because I wanted to give some room for her to add, like, a huge wallet size photo, just a regular, and then she could embellish little bits here and there with what the good days I send her. On this side, I have two pages like this. They flip open to hold a pocket. This is a pocket. I have a, I have a part of the paper collection, a butterfly from Recollections, some blank from Recollections, and a piece, another piece from the paper collection that's just a little journaling. When you open it up, there's some space for a photo. And then this is part of the paper collection. There's another one of those gemstones. And on the back, it's just black cardstock. Turning it over, this is an image from... This is part of the paper collection, but this house matches this paper perfectly. And right here, I have a little pearl from the little pearl sheet I just, that I've been using throughout the entire album. And then I have another one right there. Don't know if you can see that. And then all the tags, I'll show you. I forgot about the tags. The tags um, each have a tab because I don't have a tab, a label, puncher, or anything. And um, So I just have a little flower from... Uh, it's from the dollar bin as well. And I've, uh, I use one on each of the... Sorry, my computer turned off. I used one of each of the tags, and it looked like that. And I just, I, I made the tabs out of the tags because I didn't have a label maker, which I already said, so I don't know why I'm repeating it. Uh, um, let's see. So there's that, and then she can add like a, a photo here, um, a larger photo here. Two more. I left both of these blank because the album was getting very thick, and I love thick albums, but I like them to stand straight, and this stood straight, and I really wanted uh, her to be able to add some more large photos because the photos are the main thing of the album. I mean, you can add journal in here with a white gel pen, but the photos are what, you know, what people look at first. Over here, I have a little embellishment I made. This is p part of the collection that FSC cut out. And then this is a little gemstone that I said this turn has scripts. Over here is the next tag page, flip page, what pocket, whatever. And I have a spot here for journaling, a butterfly with some more pearl string uh, trim, uh, <laughs> bling. I have a little thing here for her to add journaling to or whatever and a another tag and another gemstone for her to add whatever she desires to put on those and then another spot for a photo over here I left this blank for another photo and then over here this is a part of the collection that I fussy cut and then this is a gemstone that I got from Hobby Lobby again and then both of these are left blank because I always like to add, uh, like a reasoning, like a, like a closure for the album, like a sheet that I type up and then put down to, uh, you know, what the album was about and things like that. And on this side, she got a, fo I could, she got a photo of, uh, you know, just whatever she put over here, you know, but that, that's what I do. Um, anyway, that is my album, uh. There's, I'm really happy with how it turns out. I am rambling. Mm, yes, I am. And I hope she likes it. I will be back again when I create something else because I don't have, um, I'm, yeah. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later and I will be back with more videos soon. Okay, bye-bye.